All right, so it's a pretty rainy day and uh, not gonna be going outside anytime soon because that weather is terrible. So I thought what I'd do is give you a tour of the hostel. This is Fleur de... Yeah, I'll put the name in the description. So this is where I'm staying. This is the... Uh, it's an eight bed dorm. So it's pretty standard, you know, you've just got eight beds, pretty small beds, the heaters are okay. I don't think they're actually on, but yeah, they're on like a really low temperature. And you've got the view, which you can't really see at the moment because of the weather, but normally the view is pretty good. You can see the mountains there, I've probably shown it in other videos. Okay, and then you've got, this is uh, where I'm staying right next to the charging ports, which is probably the best place. And then the internet router is here. I've got super glue all over my bag. <laughs> and then you get like, you get a blanket and the usual thing, you know, the disposable, uh, what, what do you call them? Disposable bed sheets. And then a locker, you get pretty big lockers. So you get top compartment, bottom compartment. It's pretty useful. Also pretty useful that you don't need to use your own padlock, you can just take their key and go like that. So what I'll do now, I think I'll give you a tour of the bathroom area. So this is the shower and bathroom area. Pretty good, nice and clean. And then there's toilets down there, shower cubicles. And then out here, this is you can actually, I think, book these, which are Mongolian yurts. They're pretty cool, but I don't know how cold they'll be at night. I didn't actually think they were open until I saw the door open this morning. I won't go too far out because it's, it's uh, pouring with rain, and I don't think this camera's waterproof. And then there's the little garden area where you can sit, and usually you can see a really good view there, but obviously the rain is not so good. You can just about see the mountains there, so it is a really nice, Place, uh, with a good view. All right, let's go and have a look upstairs at the reception. <coughs> Not quite sure what that is. Don't know what that is either. Big safe. Ah, uh, that must be where all the internet connections are monitored from. The internet's actually really fast. Well, not for uploading, but for downloading it's fine. Hello. Thank you. So there's a uh, disabled access. Table access there. As you can see, the, the weather is really bad, which is uh, why I'm filming this hostel review video because I can't go out in that. There's actually a bus stop, you can't quite see it. There's a bus stop just down there, which takes you all the way to town, and then there's I think there's another one somewhere there which goes that way. Also, literally across that bridge there, you've got a load of hikes and mountains and things which I've shown in other videos. All right, let's go and have a look at the Reception and breakfast area. That's the reception. They even give you a, a map of the valley here. So you can see where to go. Uh, that's the prices. This is the main breakfast area. Must admit the chairs are pretty uncomfortable. I tried to do some work from here the other day. And I could only sit here for about an hour or so. And that's the other view. It's a pretty good view to be honest. And then there's a coffee machine. I might actually have a coffee. Hello. Bonjour. Hey. Breakfast buffet, cereal, juice machine. It's all of food? Hmm? It's all of food? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Something is 
So it's a pretty small hostel, but it's got at least a breakfast area, nice coffee machine. But as I say, the chairs are pretty uncomfortable, especially if you sit there for more than about half an hour or so. And there's no sofas or anything like that and then that's the view and that concludes my review of this hostel